what's up everybody blue gabe welcome to mexico you guys this trip is something that i've been wanting to do forever i know i say that all the time but this really is this is one of those trips that i've wanted to do for a long time right here babe, right here <laughs> Crystal Beachy and I have been running hard for the last seven months and one thing that she mentioned she wanted to do at the very beginning is she wanted to go on a good dove hunt somewhere. Uh -huh. Good shot. Oh, there you go. If you don't know what a dove is, do you really not know what a dove is? It's a bird and you shoot them and we shoot them all over the United States but a lot of places there's small limits like in Florida I think you're only allowed 12 which is okay that's about as many as you need to eat. But I've always wanted to go somewhere where you could just melt the barrel. But not only do they have amazing dove hunting here, check out this ginormous lake. Slap full of giant largemouth bass. So about a month ago, I found Mr. Paul Anderson's Instagram. I messaged him. He said, I do hunts. You can come down. We have a beautiful lodge, which I'm about to show you. It's absolutely amazing and they have bass boats so we're here to do a cast and blast and it's fixing to go down real soon we left our house in stewart florida this morning at 4 a.m short flight to houston texas from houston texas down to brownsville texas where mr paul anderson picked us up that's what he does for all of his clients he picks you up in brownsville he brings you across the border helps you get through the border with zero stress it literally took us like five minutes and pulled us right up to this amazing lodge. Check out the pool. We will be in this very soon. It's about 105 degrees, not much wind, no clouds, and this place is stunning. Look at how they greeted us though. The choice is, do you want pink or green? I'll take the pink. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi, nice. Good to meet, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Hi, thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers. I've only been here for like three minutes and I can already tell you it's absolutely gorgeous. Hey! Mr. Jose! <laughs> Mi amigo. If you guys follow along like back four years ago, one of my first YouTube videos, we were actually here but at a different lodge, right? Yeah, that's right. And that's where I met Mr. Jose. Yeah. I'll have to go back and watch that video. You've already about <laughs> killed that margarita. So Babe, you better go easy. It's hot outside. <laughs> You guys, there's Mr. Paul. He's who picked us up. Him and Jose are business partners here. Yes, sir. Let's go see our room. Okay, follow me. Let's go. Let's leave my glasses right there. This place. I know the air conditioner in here feels good. Oh yeah, it's working. So. Look at right there on the. What? Look at my name oh, on the door. Yeah. yeah. We have separate rooms or what? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is not co-ed. Yeah, this is Gabriel. <laughs> next, next door is, is, is Crystal. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, folks. Our bags are already in the room, oh, so waiting great. on us. It's look, beautiful. Look at the view, though. We get a pool and a lake view. Now, if you're into wing shooting, you've heard of Argentina. You've heard of places way down south that are super hard to get to. I'm going to say it again. We left my house in Stewart, Florida this morning at 4 a.m. What time is it now? What are you? <laughs> what time is it? You know what time it is? 2.30. Uh, yeah, it's 2.30 it's in the afternoon and we're already at the lodge. How far would we have to drive to go shoot dove from right here? Ah, uh, like 40 minutes or so. 30 minutes. You guys, minutes. we could be shooting doves this afternoon, but we're not. We actually are going to do something completely awesome one of my most favorite things in the world we're gonna go pull some crawfish traps out here in this lake then we're gonna have a crawfish dinner hopefully if we get them fingers crossed and tomorrow morning we're gonna start dove hunting oh we're here we're here yes sir long time <laughs> coming yeah we've been trying to plan this for three years yeah that's right and uh it finally came true so where we're at in mexico looks a lot like south texas you pretty much couldn't tell you're not in south texas a lot of mesquite, a lot of cactus, a lot of rocks and gravel. But here, not only do they have crazy good bass fishing, amazing dove hunting. What a lot of people don't know about Mexico is they have some of the world's best waterfowl hunting, duck hunting. So I wanted to come here for this trip, not only to catch the huge crawfish and to shoot the dove, I wanted to come here, see the lodge, meet everybody. So come duck season, I can get a group of you guys 
or gals, Crystal and I and our kids can come down and do an amazing duck hunt. And that's what we're gonna do. But right now, babe, come on, we got to go, I'm starving. Y'all, we're on a bird hunt in Mexico and look what she's got. She just got her hair done, it looks amazing, but look at this feather she's got up in there. I'm blending in with the environment. A hawk <laughs> might try to catch your head. What do you got here? Well, you can have what's left of these nachos. <laughs> I've been tearing them up. These jalapenos and carrots are so good. What's this? And these are ham and cheese empanadas. Oh. You guys want a beer, Coke, or soda? We got a margarita. Okay. I'm perfect right now. Thank you. Man, that was good. You guys. Mexico's always been a place that sort of makes me nervous, especially traveling to. Thus far, just like the Panama trip, when you get the right outfitter like El Dorado, it just feels like you're in your hometown. They treat mm -hmm. you like gold. They all speak pretty good English. This place is amazing and it's just getting started. Look at that, nacho. Did you see our room? It's nachos, it means these nachos, they're mine. Do you eat that whole jalapeno? Ooh, getting brave. <laughs> getting brave. It's hot, ain't it? It ain't bad. Mm-mm. I'm ready to go catch some crawfish, though. All right, we had a little bit of change of plans. It's actually the next day. We dove hunted this morning, you guys, and we absolutely crushed them. That'll be in the next video that comes out. We're headed down to the lake right now, and we're going to go pull some of the traps. They weren't able to get a hold of the commercial guys that do it for a living, and they just saw them, and they're out there pulling it now. So we're going to run out, try to meet up with them, and pull some of their traps, plus some of the traps that Jose set for me three days ago. They normally pull them, put them out and pull them every day. These traps have been sitting for three days because I told Jose I've been waiting for four years to come and do this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to some of the other guys' traps. I'm actually gonna pay them some cash. I don't think that I'm taking any of their hard work. I'm actually gonna let them have the crawfish and pay them just so you guys can see how it's done. And then we're gonna take some of the ones out of the traps that he set for us, if there's any in it, and hopefully be eating crawfish tonight. Check how cool this is. They bring the boat from the house way over there down this trail with this tractor and put it in. And that's actually Ricky's boat. That's your boat, right? This is the local legend of a bass fisherman right here, Ricky. Que pasa, amigos? I'm ready. Langostinos? Yes, sir. Did I say it right? Yes, sir, in front. Oh, yeah. It's in the river. Are they, are they small, big? Get big on ones. This. Big ones and little. It's, oh. There are more big ones. And little ones? What are you worried about, my feet? You, I, these feet, rattlesnake bite it and their teeth break. Okay, abusado porque está feo las piedras. That's bad though, that's no bueno. Yeah. Look at it, why are y'all speechless? You don't trust me in my feet right now? Just let me have your shoulder. We're good. Oh, ow, woo. Oh, that's no bueno. Whoa, that's no bueno. We're good. Only one, only one poquito thorn. Look at that, just stuck in my foot. Yeah. All right, we're good. It's no problem. We'll live. I'm that excited to go catch crawfish. Baby, you should have seen the thorn I just pulled out of my foot. He said that he brought a paddle for you to paddle with. <laughs> no, we got two motors on this thing. Are you cooking tonight? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm excited. Let's roll, folks at home. We got Captain Ricky. Is it Ricky Bobby? <laughs> Shake and bake. Spider. Oh man, my seat, I can already tell you, this seat's gonna be about 300 degrees. Yeah, but your butt's wet, so it'll be fine. Oh, this is actually a man made lake. So, those trees out there are very big trees. You're just seeing the top of them. It's actually really deep. Thank you. Gracias, my cell phone. Why do I always forget my phone? You forget everything. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, you're coming with? Yes. He's my langostino guide. You say it better. Here, let's hear. Let's hear Jose say it right now. Langostinos. <laughs> so this water looks like it's real clear, and it does from shallow, but it's got a real milky color to it. That's why the bass that Ricky caught yesterday was so like cream colored, like a it real really light, light, white color. 
So right there obviously is a shoreline. Right here could be as deep as 50 feet. It drops straight off and then it'll come back up to where the trees are. This would be an old creek bottom. Oh, there's the Lincoln Seagull guys right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they just pulled up to a trap right now that's not marked, which is pretty smart because if Mexico is anything like America, people will steal your stuff in a heartbeat. Let's go see what they got. He said, bueno, good? Oh my gosh, I can see him from here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I could do this all day, every day. Check this out. Check out that ringtone though. Big one. Golly. Wait till you guys see these things that he's pulling out of that trap. Oh my goodness. That's a lobster. Ask him how much he makes for these. This? Yeah, like how much money can he sell these for? ¿Cuánto el kilo ahorita? 80. 80 pesos por kilo. How many how much money is 80 pesos? And all day, ask him how much he'll make all day. Ten kilos for day, twelve kilos for day. This is for day. What's he using for bait? There's, I see an animal shoulder. And uh, pork or carp. So that's his trap. I mean, it's pretty simple, just pork. pretty much like ours. This is, this is pork and, and carp. Yeah. Pescado. Pescado. Little pieces for, for carp. That's cool. Can we see in the bucket, the blue bucket? Here it comes, folks. Wait till you see Holy this. Holy crap! That's so big! Look at that. Look how much meat would be in there? You know, Baby, no, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend <laughs> doing that. Wow, they're beautiful. Wow! You would actually get a lot of meat out of that claw. Wow! Is this from one trap? Yes, sir. Those are giant. Oh my goodness. That's bigger than I've ever and you got us some traps already set, right? Yes, sir. Mm. You guys, how many traps does he have out? What does he have? 30. 30. You have 30 traps? Yes, sir. Oh, cow. 30 trampas. 30 trampas in the line. Man. And here is the Pilon River. It just drops them out. It's real muddy bottom here. I know that. He's just gonna let it sit down there. Looks like it's about 12 feet deep, 10 feet deep. ¿Cuántos pies más? ¿Cuántos metros tendrá? Sí, como cinco metros más o menos. Cinco metros, maybe cinco por tres, quince, fifteen feet. Yeah, fifteen feet. Yes. This is so awesome. Estamos Baby pequeño. tilapia. <laughs> Ask him if. If he's ever seen big catfish. Con, ah, para pescar la, la, ese que lo usa para pescar los, los bagres grandes. Ah, sí. Sí. La mojarra, la sí. Ah. A los bagres. Es carnada por el catfish. Yes sir. Big ones? Yes sir. Oh, grandes? grandes. Big ones? Yeah. Que se han agarrado bagres grandes. Sí, y hay 3 kilos. Awesome. We are definitely wanting to catfish. It might not be on this trip, but we might come back just to try to figure out the catfishing on this lake because nobody else does it. Now let's go pull some more traps. Now what we've all been waiting for. We have some serious stuff going on on the bank over here. There's one jip in heat. These are all wild Mexico, Mexican dogs, however you want to say it. I don't want to be 
unpolitically correct. This one black dog's in heat and these three males or four males now. Four. It's bad. Yeah. We just drove by the white one was locked up with the black jip and the other three males were fighting and it's been it's been bad so these are our two traps that have been set for three days the commercial guys are just outside they're going to come over to camp in a minute too we're going to see what's in our traps excited. you're biting your nails are you nervous <laughs> no i'm not nervous i really would like to get on the boat with them but they got a dog that didn't look super friendly and that boat's too small to be having a dog attack Her first oh my goodness. Mexico oh my crawfish goodness. trap. Oh, oh, you already got it Mine's up? right here. Are you ready? Hold yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, folks at home. That is Are you ready? stupid crazy. Luke is going to be so jealous. Cool. Can you even pick it up? Uh, oh my Now, gosh. there's probably 30 to 45 crawfish in this from what i can guess and those guys catch about 15 to 20 a day so this trap's been in here for three days and that makes perfect sense have you ever seen one that big Bro, if that thing bites you right there he's gonna bite your finger oh, off and we still out. got one more trap babe this one's out. for good luck oops oh, <laughs> that was mine look at the claws on that one there is so many crawfish trap. When I was here four years ago, these guys were pulling in traps just like this, full to the brim every day. There must just be an unlimited supply of them. Do y'all have tr crawfish that big in Kentucky? No. I don't know if I would, I would probably be a commercial craw fisherman if I lived here in Mexico. That's how much I like doing it. Dang, it's heavy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you ready? This is a different looking trap. Oh, oh my goodness. It's freaking heavy. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> Look at that, folks. We can take it to the hill. We good. Bueno. Holy mackerel. We got more than we could possibly even eat. They're all different colors, too. Like, absolutely They're nuts. They're blue. Look, that one's got pink on it. Yeah. Well, they're actually the same crawfish that I caught in Jamaica, and they have this same crawfish in Australia. Look at that monstrosity right there. Two traps, probably 60, 70 crawfish, three days, pretty good. That's awesome. Beautiful lake. And now we get to have a tractor ride back to the house. I can't believe we caught that many. This is my favorite part of going out on a boat here on Lake Guerrero. You get a tractor ride back to the house. This is a, obviously, I probably said it a couple times in this video, a flooded lake. The water table, normally where they like to keep it is way up there. Right now, they're in a drought and it's way down low. But it'll even go way up there to those trees. I bet you 40 to 50 foot of water's missing right now, if not more. Yeah. We good. Uh oh, he's gonna slap her in second. There we go. That shade feels nice. I love this tree too. Babe, I got an emergency. Can you take over being a cameraman? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom right now, folks at home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Going on a little tour of the grounds here really fast. I'm under the lanai with the big giant beautiful pool and I can't believe it but the pool is actually the perfect temperature. Every pool in Florida right now is burning up hot. So that's what I was expecting and it's definitely not that. It's very cool. Um, the sun sets this way so as the afternoon sun comes out the pool gets more shade and that keeps it nice and cool so that was felt very good and I'm excited to get back in there here in just a little bit but I wanted to show you all these beautiful flowers and I keep seeing butterflies all over the place and I'm assuming this is what they're coming to um, look how pretty that is 
I mean the most vibrant vibrant pinkish purple fuchsia color I've ever seen these are like a really pretty light pink and then actually have some orange in here they are beautiful pretty trees I don't know if we've showed y'all this yet let me get over here fast giant cactus but there are two helipads here so if you've got those kind of means you can fly out your helicopter here there's actually a landing strip for planes too that we just drove across earlier so I'll show you all this big giant tree that caught my eye earlier I asked him what kind of tree it was and he told me but I forgot that is a giant tree they park the boat under here a lot too because it gives it a lot of shade out here it's hot out here it's like hot but it's a really really dry hot it's way different than florida heat um i like it better like my skin's dried out i need a lot of lotion but i don't think it's near as hot there's our beautiful hacienda there's a butterfly i know you can't see it but he's flying up there he's bright yellow and our room's up there in the top left corner and we have access to that entire balcony so that's been nice to sit up there and we've been rocking on this porch down here at night and it's very 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 relaxing so here's a little bit of behind the scenes at a working camp like this right back there they got all the dogs here's where all the guys are working and he's cleaning splitting them down the middle no oh i see what you're doing they actually pull the top of the head off and then split them Take a little bit of the guts out, and that's it. That's different. Yeah. Well, I guess it's like a lobster. I could watch this all day. So we caught Chef at just the right time. He's getting ready to put him in the pot. You can go ahead. This is good. Yeah. He's taking the langostinos. Yeah, the langostinos. The langostinos. <laughs> and in this pot, he's got butter, garlic, and just some simple seasoning salt. These things are so good, you don't need to put much on them. He's really just gonna saute them in some butter. That's it. Man, the smell, I wish y'all could smell it. He's got a big commercial fan, just like in Louisiana, at our buddy's place that we filmed there. The fan's loud, who cares? It is what it is. We're all here for that. You think it'll be a 10 out of a 10? The way it smells, it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. Look at this. Just like at our hunting camp, they have the yellow lights, no big deal. We're not in it for the lighting. Check out that, this. Your hair looks good with your pheasant feather. How about the dove hunt, babe? Can we show them just a little tease of the dove hunt? Epic. Insane. Right there. Good shot. You guys, we whacked the dove. Huge shout out to Jose, <laughs> Mr. Paul Anderson. How do you say your last name? Aleman. Yeah. I'm just calling you Jose. There you go. <laughs> I can say Anderson. <laughs> All right, dig in, folks. Awesome. All right. Some shrimp ceviche tostadas. I love ceviche. Some rice and some crawfish. This sauce looks amazing, too. Hey, look at but would you Would you look at it? Look at that, folks. These things are so big. You clean them just like a lobster. Pluck the meat out. Pull the shell off. Wow. Yeah, all that's hot. <laughs> Dip it in the sauce. I'm not even sure what it is. I hope it's not too hot. It's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah. a lot of meat. I didn't know there'd be that much meat in a coffee. That's indescribably good. When you come here on any one of their hunts oh, yeah. that they offer, this is what you can yeah, expect. The only reason we went crawl fishing is I've been here before and I knew about it. 
But this is a normal lunch here at the lodge. You go shoot birds in the morning, come back for lunch. Go shoot birds in the evening and come back for an amazing dinner too. What are we having tonight, Dove? Uh, yeah, and fajitas too. Ooh. Dove fajitas? Or the dove, dove and fajitas. The and fajitas. Dove, dove, and dove, fajitas. Appetizers and dove are, are the appetizers. Oh man. You just wait till you bite into that. It's so much better than you can ever. It's better than spiny lobster for sure. Watch and see. Did you just use your fingers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that looks like lobster. Try it with no sauce. Okay. Better than lobster. It doesn't like, have that rich flavor. More like crab kind yeah. of. Yeah. Mmm. You're gonna be out there swimming. Yeah. How to You're gonna be out there swimming good. trying to catch you some more crawfish. <laughs> I wish we could take one home on the plane. My kids, especially my eight year old, yeah. crawfish is like his favorite thing to now eat and, but he just loves catching them. Did you grow up catching them? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Every kid did. If you yeah. didn't, you're missing out on life. They're so yeah. good. Oh, man. Dang. So, this was just a quick extra video for the lodge we came here for the dove hunting i said i want to film pulling up to the lodge seeing everybody's reaction catch some crawfish our next video is a full-fledged dove hunting video and it's wild it's unimaginably good here anything you want to know about this lodge i'll have everything in the link below plus their website right here contact paul he'll message you right back that's how i got a hold of him i literally messaged him three days before this trip it's Labor Day weekend. I said, do you have an opening? Expecting he didn't. For some reason he didn't. He had an early cancellation or a late cancellation. Fit us in and here we are. Dream trip. Check out El Dorado. We'll catch y'all in the next one.